Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Meet again today Beautiful day of Friday Okay, what to discuss today uh, I think I choose this topic Because this is one of the commonest uh, Admission to the surgical ward uh, In young adolescents Okay, the topic today is Acute scrotum Okay 15 minutes about acute scrotum maybe less okay what is meant by acute scrotum acute scrotum means sudden onset of acute pain in the scrotum sudden onset of acute pain in the scrotum okay as the name suggests <coughs> it is surgical emergency all right so how you approach the case of acute scrotum so any cases admitted to surgical ward any to emergency department and the diagnosis of acute scrotum is meant surgical emergencies okay so acute scrotums can be approached by dividing the cause eh? means um, whether the patient comes um, at the later age groups or younger age group younger means less than 40, 30, 20 adolescent and children or elderly age groups and eh? elderly age groups so in younger age group adolescents acute scrotum means uh, they, you have to divide the causes into torsion and non-testicular torsions okay torsions and non-testicular torsions basically all acute scrotum is torsion unless proven otherwise okay sudden onset of testicular pain usually unilateral is torsion unless proven otherwise so how torsion presented you can occur in any age group but most common in children, adolescents, or younger adults and usually this patient has no predisposing factors no other precipitating factors and usually come de novo, sudden onset or sometimes can be followed up following trauma and uh, not so uncommon after riding the bicycles and so on there are no cosetting factors all right and this uh, means these are the usual presentation okay age no cosetting factors usually uh, unilateral most common unilateral eh? and the pain is unbearable okay so and all these patients the moment they come and give their short histories you have to examine right you have to examine and when you examine right uh, the affected testes have several key features eh? one is it is positioning eh? it is positioning higher than normal testes right and instead of vertical lie, it is longitudinal lie, or you call it bell scale, huh? I call it uh, bell clapper type of uh, position, huh? bell clapper. And on inspections, okay, higher up, and sometimes the size can be higher, bigger than the affected testes and when you palpate it is tender sometimes you can have localized temperature and when you pull the testis down the scrotum of the testis it will release all right and uh, in the later stage when the torsion is already set up there will be absence of cremastric reflex so the features here, the important feature is horizontal lie, uh, clapper type, 
huh? it is higher up absence of cremastic reflect the rest the pictures can com be similar to epidermoocitis or inflammation of the testes so uh, history what are in this other than that uh? in children uh, usually the testes uh, the, the children uh, uh, the torsion of testes common in patient uh, with preterm labor uh, with history of preterm labor before delivery by uh, like that and uh, it sometimes has previous history of torsions eh? previous history of torsion or previous history of trauma um, accident or something being hit by the ball so I'm going to show it to you uh, a few photos my photo eh? on the torsion so all right so what happened when you make a diagnosis of torsions do you need to do ultrasound do you need to wait huh? do you need to explore okay the answer is torsion does not require radiological investigations it is medical legal case issue because if you diagnose the patient have torsion you only have six hours four to six hours from the time of onset of the torsion to save the testes so you have to explore it immediately so you can perform it under GA and uh, when you take the consent it may it is exploration of the testes exploration of the scrotum KIV giving view of or kidectomy means you untwist and put back the testes in the normal posi position vertical and you stitch it to the scrotal wall plus orchidopexy on the other sides means the normal testes also you need to fix it for prevention of future torsions why because the history etiopathology of testicular torsion is one of which is abdominal long of spermatic cord abdominal abdom, abdominal long of spermatic cord so you can twist it inside the tunica vaginal vaginis like that so the effect, unaffected side also there is possibility of torsions if you don't twist it so when you explore eh, these are the for medical officer when you explore you can either choose to make incision at the median rapid or you do incision on the affected side i prefer to choose uh, to open on the affected side with uh, reasons eh? okay when you open and you can see please inspect the color of the exudates and then the color of the testes okay if the testes is already black like i showed you just now eh? it's already black you need to clamp the spermatic cord first never untwist it because the testes is already gangrene see what happens if you untwist it if you untwist it and eh, you will release the toxin radical oxygen all the necrotic tissue all the organism back into the circulations and this will antigens eh, from the dead testes will stimulate the antibody to the other testes and hence can lead to sterility of the effect the other testes so if testes is already black gangrene don't untwist it don't try to uh, correct the torsions. You just need to clamp it and perform orchidectomy means cut the testes out. And after that, you do orchidopexy means fix the normal testes. Okay, suppose the color is slightly red, bluish, it's not black. Eh? You can untwist it. Okay, you can untwist it and then put a warm pack give sometimes maybe five ten minutes while doing that you go to the other testes and open it and perform orchidopexy 
after you completed perform occupancy on unaffected testes normal testes you go back to the testes that you warm just now eh? and then look at the color if there is return of color from blue to pink to red and there is a vascularity presence so you can perform orchidopexy to that testis means you are able to untreat the testis there is possibility of revascularization and you can save that testis you perform orchidopexy and and then after that close the tunica vaginalis eh? orchidopexy means if testis is like this okay if testis is like this you fix in three places one is at severe part middle and lower to tunica vaginalis eh? to the latos muscle there eh? fix it with absorbable suture alright okay that is torsion remember don't untwist the gangrene testis because you are actually doing harm to the patients so that is acute scrotums how about the other causes of uh, non torsion testis presented with pain tender right testis so the other group usually presented out of the uh, age group of uh, this category torsion so usually the patient have co-setting factors that's why history very important so usually elderly male eh? usually elderly male with history of urinary incontinence continent, prostate disease with catheter in situ because this urinary incontinence can lead to local infection and at the same time can precipitate uh, infection of the testes we call it epidemoocitis and most of the cases bilateral okay most of the cases bilateral history of uh, uh, multiple sexual partner eh? uh, usually this kind of patients eh, can have a presentation of testicular pain but the diagnosis can be epidemoocitis in small children, bilateral testicular swelling or scrotal swelling eh? Here, uh, in bilateral small children, infant, one year old, six months the, with scrotal edema, eh? these are quite common and usually the diagnosis is idiopathic scrotal edema and this sometimes can be attributed to uh, bitten by the insects or allergic to the pampas and all those things and remember some but not common testicular swelling is associated with testicular tumor but most of the time not associated with pain painless testicular swelling can happen at any age painless testicular swelling can happen at any age and please rule out testicular cancer eh? so you have to send tumor marker alpha pitoprotein beta hcg serum ldh so remember acute scrotum is medical legal and all acute scrotum presented unilateral sudden onset in young age group diagnosis is torsion unless proven otherwise so you don't really need to do ultrasound if ultrasound you can get within half an hour and one hour yes you can proceed but if in the middle of night one o'clock two o'clock please explore uh, you can save torsion you can save that testis um, you can avoid yourself to be caught in medical legal uh, issue later so remember sudden onset of scrotal pain unilateral no cosetting factors younger age group torsion unless proven otherwise you can do it eh? thank you very much Okay, sorry, uh, I have to put this video again because just now there is technical issue. You can see when we put the patient under and you can see the testis on the affected side is higher up in torsion, hard. Eh? If you examine this patient when patient is uh, 
conscious it is severely pain and then when we open and you can see the color of the testis is red uh, and bluish okay you still not sure whether this testis is viable or not so in this case if you not sure you can put a warm pack and uh, try to give some times after you untwist it okay but if you <laughs> you open up and you see the testis is like that black uh, this means testis is already gangrene and twisted and you can see the black testis twisted here all right uh, several times so these are the cases where you cannot untwist the testis you need to clamp it and perform orchidectomy and glue orchidoplasty on the other side okay see this is another close view of the torsion testis where the plastis is already gangrene so this is how the position of the testis bells clapper defect uh, so horizontal line